I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Tuesday, July 13th. The reading is from Acts, the 23rd chapter, verses 12 through 35. When it was day, Jews made a plot and bound themselves to it by an oath neither to eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. There were more than 40 who made this conspiracy. And they went to the chief priests and elders and said, We have strictly bound ourselves by an oath to taste no food till we have killed Paul. You therefore, along with the council, give notice now to the tribune to bring him down to you, as though you were going to determine his case more exactly. And we are ready to kill him before he comes near. Now the son of Paul's sister heard of their ambush. And he went and entered the barracks and told Paul. And Paul called one of the centurions and said, Bring this young man to the tribune, for he has something to tell him. So he took him and brought him to the tribune and said, Paul, the prisoner, called me and asked me to bring this young man to you, as he has something to say to you. The tribune took him by the hand and, and going, inside, going inside asked him privately, What is it that you have to tell me? And he said, The Jews have, angered, have agreed to ask you to bring Paul down to the council tomorrow, as though they were going to inquire somewhat more closely about him but not yield to them, for they, for more than forty of their men lie in ambush for him, having bound themselves by an oath neither to eat nor drink, till they have killed him. And now they are ready, waiting for the promise from you. So the tri tribune dismissed the young man, charging him, Tell no one that you have informed me of this. Then he called two of the, centur two of the centurions and said, At the third hour of the night, Get ready 200 soldiers with 70 horsemen and 200 spearmen to go as far as Caesarea. Also provide mounts for Paul to ride and bring him safely to Felix the governor. And he wrote a letter to this effect. Claudius Lysias to His Excellency the Governor Felix, greeting. This man was seized by the Jews and was about to be killed by them. When I came upon them with the soldiers and rescued him, having learned that he was a Roman citizen and desiring to know the charge on which they accused him, I brought him down to their council. I found that he was accused about questions of their law, but charged with nothing deserving death or imprisonment. And when it was disclosed to me that there would be a plot against the man, I sent him to you at once, ordering his accusers also to state before you what they have against him. So the soldiers, according to their instructions, took Paul and brought him by night to Antipatris. And on the morrow they returned to the barracks, leaving the horsemen to go on with him. When they came to Caesarea and delivered the letter to the governor, they presented Paul also before him. On receiving the letter, he asked to what province he belonged. And when he learned that he was from Sicilia, he said, I will hear you when your accusers arrive. And he commanded him to be guarded in Herod's, in Herod's Praetorium. Word of the Lord. Unexpected helpers. Tucked into this dramatic account of arrest and ambush is an intriguing, intriguing reference. The Apostle Paul had a sister and a nephew. Who knew? Scripture tells us nothing else about either of them. But we might speculate that their relationship with Paul was close and affirming. In any case, this nephew was instrumental in keeping Paul safe. Are we to imagine that he felt some admiration for Paul's courageous gospel witness? And a government official called the Tribune also played a part. He listened respectfully to the report of this young man, and he arranged for Paul to be sent safely to Felix, the governor. God uses people, public officials and youth, family and friends, to accomplish God's will and purposes. Perhaps many of us live between the lines rather than in the headlines. Yet we can be sure that as we are faithful, God uses each of us in ways that we may never know.
Our prayer. Guide my ways, dear God. Help me to be open to your leading day, to your leading day by day. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.